Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for You. In this video, I'm covering cells. Okay, what are cells? Cells are the building block of life, which means millions of millions of cells will make up a body. There are two main types of cells. These are animal cells and plant cells. There are five parts in the animal cells and eight parts in the plant cells. So first, I'm going to start by drawing these cells. So this is a typical structure of an animal cells and a typical structure of a plant cell. You can see that plant cells have many parts compared to the animal cells. So first I'm going to start with the basic parts of the cells and that is the nucleus. The liquid part of the cell is called a cytoplasm. The outer layer is called the cell membrane. And for a plant cells, it's not the outer layer. The cell membrane is the inner layer. The outer layer is the cell wall. The dark dots in the cell are ribosomes. And these are called mitochondria. So you can see that five parts are found in both animal cells and plant cells. So let's take a look at the extra parts which are found in plant cells. I already mentioned cell wall, which is the outer layer. This is vacuole. And these are green in color because they contain green pigments. So these are chloroplast. You can see that plant cells has extra three parts compared to the animal cells. So altogether, plant cells have eight parts and animal cells have five parts. Now, let's take a look at the function. Nucleus. Nucleus controls the activity of the cells. And it also contains genetic materials. These are chromosome, genes and DNA. Okay, now cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance where lots of chemical reaction takes place. So I'm going to write lots of chemical reaction. The cell membrane. The cell membrane is more like a guard. What it does, it controls what goes in and out. Ribosome, these black dots, they are involved in protein synthesis. And mitochondria performs the process of respiration, so therefore it provides energy. So I'm going to write respiration and it provides energy. The equation for respiration is glucose plus oxygen, arrow, carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. And if you look at the opposite of respiration, then you will get the equation for photosynthesis. Okay, let's take a look at the function of cell wall. Cell wall contains cellulose. That's not the main function, but you need to learn that it contains cellulose and the main function of cell wall is to keep the cell rigid. So therefore, it keeps the shape of the cell. Now, vacuole. Vacuole contains cell sap. And cell sap stores sugar and salt. Chloroplast. I should have done this with the green pen because chloroplasts have a green color because of the green pigment called chlorophyll. So chloroplasts contain chlorophyll and chlorophyll traps sunlight. The reason why it traps sunlight is for 
photosynthesis. So these are the structure of the animal and plant cells and you need to learn the functions as well. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.